the race to find a missing Wenatchee High School student. Now, a search for her killer. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Dave Erickson. Chelan County Sheriff's spokesman refers to Mackenzie Cowell's killer as a monster. The 17-year-old Wenatchee High School student's body was found on the banks of the Columbia River near Crescent Bar on Saturday. Well, ever since, both local and federal investigators have been working around the clock trying to piece together evidence to solve her murder. KXLY4 Sally Shoma is live tonight on the Sky Deck with the latest information. Sally? Robin, there is still no suspect tonight. I just got off the phone with Douglas County Sheriff. He says he really hopes the killer, quote, mans up and comes forward so the community and Mackenzie's family can have some closure and peace. Mackenzie Cowell found dead in the Columbia River this morning. As text messages spread among Wenatchee High School students, pray that her killer is found. Investigators spread out across two eastern Washington counties searching for clues. Mackenzie was last seen alive last Tuesday on surveillance video, leaving the beauty school she attends in Wenatchee. Her abandoned car was discovered later that night in rural Chelan County. Her body was found 40 miles from there Saturday near the resort area of Crescent Bar. We don't know where she was killed. Uh, we are hoping that the autopsy and the crime scene investigation that's going to occur tomorrow at the hospital will hopefully lead us to some conclusions on that. Today, dive teams returned to the water near where Mackenzie's body was found. They've cased the entire resort area of Crescent Bar. Still no suspects. Authorities say her killer could be someone Mackenzie knew or it could be an unknown predator. Although the sheriff says there's no evidence this is part of a bigger criminal endeavor, people in Wenatchee are nervous. When I go to my car, I'm always looking around my surroundings. Like That's like even last night to open my trunk. I was checking my surroundings. I was really scared. So tomorrow, the state forensic team arrives to perform an autopsy on Mackenzie's body. They're hoping to uncover latent fingerprints, hairs, anything that could be a clue as to who her killer is. If anyone out there has any information about her disappearance or her murder, contact the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. We have their phone number on our website, kxly.com. Live on the Sky Deck tonight, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.